guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to a new video. Or if you're new, welcome to the channel. So today is going to be an unboxing. Uh, it's going to be a double unboxing. Honestly, I do enjoy watching this type of videos. I don't know why. It's just so satisfying to me. So that's why I wanted to film it because maybe you guys enjoy it as well. <laughs> Let's open this one from... Oh, I'm going to open the bag first. So again, I was looking for a bag that was less than $1,000. And when I came across Jacquemus and I just fell in love with the style and, you know, I just felt like it was exactly what I was looking for. I started like really doing a lot of research and finding, like looking into websites to see which one had sales and um, Selfridges had it on a really good price. So I pulled the trigger. Now I've seen the Jacquemus all over social media. It's very popular. It's a very like popular trendy bag. But after like looking at reviews and looking at the bag on Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, I just fell in love because again, it has all of those options. It has a top handle. You can wear it as a shoulder bag. You can wear it as a crossbody bag. I feel like the size is perfect. They do have two different sizes, which I'll talk about it in a minute. Before I purchase a bag, especially if it's like a more of a luxury bag that it's going to be expensive, I do a lot of research. If it's a bag that I know I could buy it on sale, I just start looking at every website possible to see if there's any like sales. I got this bag for $640. I did have to pay, you know, duties and shipping and all of that. The reasons why I'm telling you this is because if you really want a bag and if you know that type of bag, usually you can find it on sale, dig in, go online, go on the website, do research. Don't buy it like full price. Just take your time and look and see which websites they have it, you know, on sale, affordable. So it does come with the dust bag. That is that. I'm sure if you buy it from Jacquemus website, the packaging will be stunning. But girl, if I'm saving money, I don't mind. All right, so here she is. As you can tell from the title, this is the Jacquemus La Grande Bambino leather bag. They do have it available in a smaller version, which is super cute. I was debating on the small one or this one, but when I started looking into like YouTube videos, reviews and all of that, a lot of girls said that the phone didn't fit. So to me, that was like, uh. So that's why I went for the bigger size, even though it's still, still tiny. Like I know it's not gonna fit my whole life in here. But again, the whole reasons why I wanted something like this is because I want to use it as an evening bag um, and as you can tell I got it in the color black but they have it in many colors like literally there's so many options but I went with the black one because it's just a color that it's gonna go well with any literally any outfit so as you can tell it has the Jacquemus name here on the side and it's in like a vintage gold it doesn't have any feet or anything like that it does have like this small slid here on the back, which I don't think it's going to fit much. Maybe a credit card or your license when you're on the go or maybe receipts. So it does have like that magnetic opening situation. I'm gonna remove this plastic here. So inside there's the strap. All right, so here's the strap. It's pretty thin and the strap is adjustable. Of course, you can see that it's also removable. Let's see how many holes does it have? This one has five holes. Usually like it comes with four holes, but this one has five holes and it has the Jacquemus logo here on the side of the class. Inside it comes with this like slit there as well, like this little pocket in there, which I don't think you can fit much in there either. It's like the same thing as the back pocket. And here's the Jacquemus card. Just looking at it. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so adorable. I freaking love this bag. So I'm going to put the strap just to see how it looks and I am going to try it on. And of course, Course, I'm going to see what actually fits in the bag. Farfetch has this bag. It's on sale for 676 and they have it available in a very pretty brown, like a chocolate brown color. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Just in case you are interested, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below because that color is beautiful. I'm going to see if my phone fits in here. Just so you guys have an idea, look how it is when my phone, my phone is in there and I still have a lot of space. Um, the camera. The vlogging camera is something that I tend to take a lot lately since I'm trying to vlog. And you guys, it fits my phone and my vlogging camera. And I can tell the car holder fits right here on the side. So I can put my car holder right there, maybe a lipstick, the car key. Well, let me see if I can close it. Yeah. I can close it. So one thing that I did realize is that you have to close the back first before saying that the items fit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's more of that triangle shape. Things have to fit down here, but they cannot be bulky up here because then the bag is not going to close. Just because this is right here in front of my face, I'm going to put this little pouch there and then 
this mesh tiny bag on the side just for the heck and then i don't know if you guys can see it and then try to close it to see if it fits yeah it fits so even though it's a small bag i feel like it does fit quite a lot at least my most essentials sorry about that <laughs> if you look at my background like Maybe it looks really pretty here, but if you look on the sides, there's a, a mess everywhere. So yeah, guys, this is the new addition to my little handbag collection. I'm looking at it right now, and it's just so cute, so cute. If it's still available at Selfridges, like if it's still on sale, I will, of course, leave the link in the description box below. And I'm also going to leave the link from Farfetch, the one that I just saw online, because that brown color is adorable, in case you are interested. Next unboxing, it's going to be from Holland Cooper. First time ordering from Holland Cooper as well. This packaging is lovely. It's beautiful. Look at the card. If you want to get a gift to someone special and you want the packaging to look outstanding, order from Holland Cooper, honestly. And here's the item. From the moment you open the first box to the second box to the third little box, it's like every little detail is so nice, so beautiful. I wanted to add a small belt to my wardrobe. The belts that I have are either casual, and then I have this one luxury belt that you guys probably know already, and it's from Valentino. It's a bigger belt, but I wanted something a little bit smaller whenever I just wanted to wear casual outfits and kind of level it up a little bit with a belt. I wanted the belt to be a little bit more seamless, small, but with a little tight. So I was really looking into the YSL or the Yves Saint Laurent belt, but I came across this belt from Holland Cooper and I just immediately fell in love because it's very similar to the YSL belt, but way more affordable. So as you can tell, it has the Holland Cooper logo here on the side. It also has the name of the brand right here on the buckle. So yeah, it's beautiful. I think I'm going to wear it right now since I'm wearing like black trousers just to see how it looks. But you guys, it's so pretty and the leather feels very, very smooth. Uh, so they have three different sizes. They have small, medium, and large. I went with size small. But yeah, guys, if you've been wanting to get the YSL belt, but you really don't want to spend much money on that belt, I feel like this is a great option. Again, it's 100% leather. And the whole packaging, the presentation is beautiful. Like I got this sweater from Zara and I figure it would look really cute with this outfit. But girl, I live in Florida. It's like 100 degrees outside. I mean, it's right now it's raining, but this is something that I'll be wearing like in side with the AC but there's no way I'll be wearing this outside. I figured it would look cute like this. So this is how the bag looks crossbody. I mean it's on the perfect length. I didn't have to adjust it or anything like that. Yeah. And then this is how it looks as a shoulder bag. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you are new here, again, I hope you consider subscribing. Now, I will be leaving the links in the description box below of the belt and also if I find this bag on sale. I will leave those links in the description box below so you guys can save some money in case you are also interested in buying this bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!